Hello to another Ollie Cutter Reviews, and my review for today is... Lawless. Now again, I really wanted to see this film when it came out in cinemas, I missed it. Gr big disappointment for me, because I did really want to see it, mainly because it had Tom Hardy. But no, and now I've seen the film, I can review the film, and I will review the film, and this is my review of the film. So here we go. Okay, so, first off, I'm just going to say this. Tom Hardy is the best part of this film, in all fairness. He's the best part of any film he's in. You know, he's gone from being, you know, more or less an actor no one really knows, and now after Inception and Batman and all that, he is now, you know, an amazing actor. He's, I think he's my favourite actor now, and he's amazing and badass, and he really somehow pulls off the accent, which is weird, because he's, you know, is he London? I know he's English, I know that, but I think he's from London. So there we go. It's also Sheila Booth, and I don't know who plays the third murder on brother, but no. Uh, Gary Oldman is listed as one of the main, he's not a main actor in this, I think he's in it for all in all probably 8 minutes of screen time and you know, that ain't good in all fairness, he's, when he's in it he steals the show, don't get me wrong, he's badass when he's in it, but when he's, you know, when he's not in it you forget he's even, he's a character, you forget that character exists and that's not a good thing. Uh, Guy Pearce is, you know, the guy and to, you know, take down the Bodoron brothers, well actually saying that everyone who's doing what they're doing, which is selling moonshine, and you know, if you don't know what moonshine is, then it's like alcohol, because it was illegal at this point, I can't remember the big specific word for it, I had it in my head before I turned on the camera, but now it's gone, but yeah, Guy Pearce is him, and he's creepy, and if you've seen the case, or the trailer or anything, you know his hairline is like really weird and creepy, and it freaks me out, it really, a guy, did a man really have that haircut? Because I know this is based off a true story, so did a guy have that haircut? Because he needed help. He really did. He needed deep psychological help. You know, his daddy must have beat him or something if he had that haircut in real life. Because no way would any sane person have that haircut. Is there something wrong with it? I think there's a scene where his hair gets messed up and it looks better than how he keeps it styled. Styled. You know, that's how it ends up working, but no. Now I've had a go at that characters, let's actually talk about the actual film. <laughs> you know, it says it's based on the true story of the Bernard brothers, and in there you got Forrest, and I think Forrest is the only name I can remember. Forrest Jack, and who's the other guy? I can't remember. Because he's also played by an actor who I don't know, but he was good. So, he, his name should be on the uh, case, but no, it's not, and I don't know why, because he, he was good as the middle brother, he really was. But no. And, you know, these are like brothers, they own this part of the thing, you know. It says on the thing, outlaws, heroes, etc. And they really were. You see in that they're like, you know, the cops and stuff hate them, but the villagers and all the townsfolk, they love them. And they're like that in-between where they've got to keep the peace in their village, but also fight that which he wants to take them down. And it's really a deep struggle for them. And it's, it's just great. And, you know, like Tom Hardy says, of the meeting where it's going to go we're a ball around we don't run from nobody and that is the worst accent i've ever done i apologize for that but no and that's the sort of that is the sort of voice he does so fast i've been trying to master that accent since i've done it i've had like two weeks of trying to do that accent that's what i've got so there's uh my accent skills but if you want to hear an irish accent please go and find my in bruce cut somewhere down below or to the side or etc it, it'll, it'll be somewhere around here I can't find it, but hey, maybe you can. Maybe I deleted it, it wasn't a crack. But hey, huh? off topic again. Uh, personally, I love the era it's set in, you know, the sort of early 90s, 90s, early 1900s. And it's just sort of, you know, proper guns, the Industrial Revolution, all that, all that was just sort of coming into play, because, you know, they're still using six shooters, whereas other guys have automatics and stuff. The Tommy Guns, may is in it, and I love the Tommy Gun, because it's a gangster gun, and I love the sort of film noir crap around that area and it's just badass you know you can't gary oldman's the gangster in this like i said he's got the hat he's got the pinstripe suit he's got the tommy gun that's the perfect combination and i think he smokes a cigar in it as well i can't remember but when he does that he's just like the epitome of a gangster he really is and that is how badass this film gets uh it's a bit slow to start off with but when the violence kicks into it man does it kick into it you know, it's an 18 rating for a reason. These were violent times, and it does get violent. There's blood, there's, you know, swearing. It gets real. But the good part is, there's blood, but it isn't like a horror movie stupid amount of blood. 
is a weird guy gets shot yes there's blood but it's not like pff, spraying out of his back like a maniac blood okay no it's not that it's like dripping out and you know hurt his shoulder and stuff the right amount of blood that it should be that's what it is and you know a guy gets his throat slit as well and he's there clutching it and blood's pouring out over his hand but it wasn't like spurting into the eyes of everyone so you know it was good for that if so you know, that's what i get there it was accurate to what it should be and you know that's what i liked about it because uh, i like the era i like pretty much everything about the film before i've watched the film and then it did just take it where i wanted to go the film could have got just gone they could have been sitting on their front lawn in a swing chair for all i cared i probably still would have loved it for the era and if they just like shot a cam that would have been the name of the day but no you get you know tom hardy and sheila booth being badass sheila booth gets a bad rep for, you know all the sam wick wiki stuff in transformers and stuff i liked him in that but in this he was good for what he wanted to be he was a little whiny bitch at most points though and that annoys you i've got to say at most points you just like punch him in the face and they do punch him in the face a lot actually which was good yeah so you know if you want to see sheila booth get the living crap beat out of him then you'll watch this film for that but no so you know if have you seen lawless what did you think if you've seen it if you haven't seen lawless i recommend you do watch lawless but equally you will make it through life without having to see it probably unless there's a pub quiz on it in which case sucks to be you but hey uh i don't know anything about the director or the guy who directed it sadly i don't know anything about the true story of the bird around brothers either so i don't know how accurate it is to that no uh but hey ho it could be really accurate it could just be another hollywood farce i don't know but i don't really care because i enjoyed the film it was what i wanted the film to be and it was pretty much a nice western again almost really i suppose cowboy western so you know not spaghetti western because no one likes spaghetti but hey have you seen like i said if you have seen that did you enjoy it as much as i did which is substantially i have to say and again i think i enjoy everything other than twilight <coughs> but hey i uh, hope you like this video uh, please check out more i'm slowly racking up you know the video account now i'm quite happy with that and yeah cool keep rolling and keep loving films